Dayton Bakery is closing. Ronaldo's opened in the 1960s and quickly became a community favorite. Two News reporter Maytal Levy spoke with the owners about the tough decision to close. Besides the wonderful pastries and breads inside of Ronaldo's, there's now a poster board filled with photos and messages of sweet goodbyes. For nearly 60 years, Ronaldo's Bake Shop has been a sweet piece of Dayton's history. Bill Hindenreich was one of their first customers. We love their Annabelles. It's a particular item that I like, and uh, I just ordered 19 of them because that's all they could make. Rows of eclairs and cream horns fill the bakery's display for one final week. Daryl Jones drops by almost every day. Because they're genuine, because they're real, and down to earth, easygoing people, the food, the bread. Ronaldo and his wife Anna, also known as Grandma Cookie, Cookie and Grandpa, and Grandpa Cake, say when they opened the business decades ago, they were so busy they needed help with traffic control. The guy to direct the traffic. A policeman. A policeman to direct because they used to come. There was five, six, one behind the other, just to give the holler, because all the Jewish family they used to live here. But as times changed, the couple says many of their customers moved south of town. Business at the bakery eventually turned stale, even though the bread remained fresh. You know, we got to say there's more competition out there. The, the box stores. Yeah. I've, I've hurt, but uh, we've maintained the best we could. The bake shop withstood three robberies and the recession. The couple retired at 65, but that didn't last long. Their son, John, suffered three heart attacks. My dream was I was going to go back to him, and then after him, his son could to go over. The couple both turn 85 next year and say it's time to close. Bittersweet for both Bill and Daryl. Who say the owners are like family? It's sad when and when things disappear and, and and go away. You know, it's uh, part of the community. Maybe somebody oh, okay. that's familiar with all the recipes and everything Sorry. would Sorry. open it up at another location. It's sad. <laughs> it's a little sad, and it's you know, <laughs> because we've met a lot of good people along the road. The couple plans on spending their retirement with their grandkids and playing table tennis. If you haven't been there yet, you have three days left. They're closing on Sunday, but they will have their famous strawberry cake this weekend at the Italian Festival. Maytal Levy, 2 News, working for you.